What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? It's your boy, Tiger Tran, coming at you with some more Smite Assault. And today we have Nasha, who is one of my favorite assassins. Not by far the best, especially in like Conquest and other modes, but in Assault, he is exceptional. And that is because his ring toss really shines here. Uh, as long as your team leaves like one minion for you, you can really reliably ring toss off the creep wave. They leave you like one archer in the back. Oh my gosh, it is glorious. I don't know if that'll happen in this game. We might just have to try to land him. Ooh. We, we're up against five physicals, so we'll throw it here. Oh my gosh, the boy took a lot of damage. I, I wait here to put a point into my two or my three, depending on what we need. So if we're being really aggressive and I see a hot opportunity to stun somebody, I use that. But if I need the health, then I'll put a point in my two. Okay, this guy's gonna ult, so we should just back up. Oh, dang. Oofta. Get away from me. Heal my team here. Just gonna clear wave since it's pushing into our tower. If we can get Rajin, I will go for it. He's playing pretty far back, which is smart. And this is the death for you, buddy boy. Bye! And then I'm gonna bounce out. Get some move speed off of this. Get close enough. We're gonna pop that. Oh, oh, they're backing up. All right. Well, that worked out well. Get off me, buddle. Thank you, Rat, for giving me lots of damage to your team. Doing that mostly because I can take a tower shot with my two. Though that ate my mana. Maybe that wasn't the point. All right. Uh. Smacking the rat. Right now we're just going to save mana for um, ring tosses. I don't want to go too crazy aggressive here. Because we just don't have the sustain by any stretch of the imagination. <coughs> mm, my protein shake. It's weird. Going down the wrong the wrong hole. Alright, well you should... Okay. Doesn't look like Soul's going to try to clear the creep waves. So me and Isis... Isis, me and, and uh, Nemesis will do it. We're going to level up our two just to give us more attack speed. To lower our cooldown on our self-heal. Man, this really... I almost built. Like, I was so close to building a Hydra's, and now I wish I would have. I thought the Gladiator Shield would be good enough. Because I was thinking, man, my ring's going to be bouncing off fools like crazy. I should be getting tons of mana, right? Definitely not the case. At least not what I've seen. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, he survived. Oh no, he didn't. What? Oh, I'm so surprised that missed. Alright, we can brawl, boy. I ain't scared, boy. I ain't scared. Shredded. Alright, we need to die. Cause I, now I still, I do want to get Hydras, dude. I still am just having such mana issues. It is nice. I mean, you see the ball, like, the uh, rings smacking a lot of people, but it's still not as much as I need it to be. Yeah, Ganesh is being smart here. Dying. We all want to die. No. Alright. Alright, we won't take this death here. We'll wait a little bit. It's not a huge thing. I'm gonna throw this though. Hit him with the group up. Nemesis. Oh my gosh.
How many? Yeah, see, they got a bunch of meditations, a bunch of Gaia's. I might pick up Brawler's Beat Stick after we get Max CD. Now, maybe even earlier than that. Who knows? Yeah, look at that ring damage. Throwing my two so that way I get the crit and potential off my three, but they backed up real hard and fast. Okay. Trying to just dodge some ults here. Guess we'll go for Thor here. I think he's trying to dodge my ultimate. Oh gosh, I good dodge on him. I didn't think. He'd... All right, get up. I'm trying to buy myself some time here for my two to come back up. Get some speed and kill rat. Blap. We got a crit too. That's spicy. Spicy meatball. Oh. Tried to get the read, but it's hard at max range to land rings sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean almost always. Because it's so easy to juke because its AoE is just so tiny. Oh my god. I wanted to follow up there, but no mana. Just try and keep up. Dang it. The tower humping as hard as they are is kind of, it's definitely annoying to try to land the rings. Some people are pro though. I mean, some people like land rings like it's their job. Oh my gosh, that was just bad. Oh no! Oh, oh. All right, we needed to die there, so it's not t horrible. <clears throat> I just—it sucks sitting at no mana for days. Ooh. Dang, Nemesis chopping fools up in the back line. This will be good. We're gonna pick up Hydras because we need the MP5 like it nobody's business. We're not gonna have enough for Jotuns by the time, so we will pick up uh, Warrior's Tevi, and then we will go into either Jotuns or Brawler's Speed Stick, depending on what we feel like we need. Hmm, what do we want? They are they they are diving me with a lot of stuff. I think beads would be the play. They do have a lot of CC. Collins ultimate. Rajan can taunt you. Stuns off Thor. Stuns off Ho Yi. Stun off and Dread of Taskar's ult. They land is three. Yeah, I think beads is the play. No, how did that not hit? Oh my gosh, alright, falling back, drinking potions. I cannot get any love on my rings right now. I think it's because I'm left writing when I'm throwing it. What? How did he get out? They need to really increase the stun time on Najah's three. Like, you see that? Ho Yi was able to dash out before my auto attack lands on my three. That's ridiculous. They need to make the stun at least 1.5 seconds. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why they made uh, Najah's like, three just utter trash. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. I think we are going to go cooldown because it is, I mean, Naja is cooldown. He's like the king of just throwing his ring, trying to get it up. We have some, some bad breaks on our ultimate. Like, I was spamming my ultimate as soon as my sash came down and still he was able just to just, like, move to the side or something. I, I don't get how that works. 
Because it should just be, like, instant. Like, you grab them. He didn't beads or anything, so that definitely wasn't the issue. I, I don't know. Very strange. Yeah, they don't have any physical armor right now, so my shred is real. And, man, when we get Brawler's bead stick online, it'll basically be doing true damage almost for, like, the entirety of the kid. No, come closer. All right, hoey. is like all clear oh caught him with the stun inside of Ganesha's Tascar. Oof. Dang. We all took a lot of damage there. There's a point to where I almost died, but then a ton of meds hit me, and then I was able to get off a bunch of twos, which was big. Threw my two there just to try to heal as much as possible. This thing would be dead for sure. Uh, probably will have enough money for Brawler's Beat Stick by the time we're rezzed. They might, uh, well, no, I think they'll be hard pressed. Yeah, I think game over is probably correct because it's not, well. I wonder if he's, he's not saying it for us. <clears throat> they could definitely get a tower for sure, maybe two. Well, no, no, because Hoi's dead. Yeah, I mean, he should have no problem holding this as long as he just blows back the wave with his clear. Alright, this will be big for us having a Brawler's Meat Stick online. When Team Cops combat starts to happen and the meditations start rolling out like crazy, we should have him pretty much almost all Brawlers for most of the fight, hopefully. Yeah, because look at that cooldown. I mean, it lasts for eight seconds, and it, uh, cooldown is eight seconds. So hopefully we just are, we are landing it. That's the important thing. I can definitely tell I'm getting tired. This will be the last game of the day. Back, Cullen. Yeah, let's go. This will give me massive speed increase, which we need. Oh, dang it. Potion here. Okay. I'm gonna do this for the shred. Get him with the 
heal because we are taking a lot of damage. Bye. Oh my gosh, that was a huge hit. Should we just have fun? Let's have fun. Let's just smack Thor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, definitely still a fun game. Oh, missed a lot of abilities for that second half. I am going to very much look forward to sleeping in my amazing bed. I, one of the first thing I got when I got my after I got my masters and was like in the real world and I started making good money, the first thing I got was a super nice bed. So I have this. It's like it's actually a step up from Tempur-Pedic. It's crazy, dude. You sleep on that bed, it it was nuts. It's like normally. So I'm a kind of person who needs around like nine hours of sleep just because I I am a very light sleeper. But when I sleep in that bed, I only need to sleep like seven hours because I just sleep so soundly and through the night. It's incredible. It's one of those things, though, we had, like, a lazy Sunday with, uh, no, today's Saturday. We had a lazy Saturday, and so we, we slept in, and we're just kind of, like, chilling. I was chilling with my wife, just, uh, and it was it was glorious. But it's, like, one of those things to where when you want to be chill, it's also kind of the bane of your existence because you can sleep on that thing forever. Like, you just lay on it, and just, like, you'll just fall asleep. Like, you're not even tired. Like, you just lay on it. It's just so comfortable. Like, you'll just innately fall asleep or half the time of your life man we still put out numbers holy cow i'm surprised i was thinking that my damage would have been on the on the lower side uh thankfully we landed enough i guess to actually do some damage there oh man i can't even imagine could you could you uh you've you, there's an earlier naja game where i was pretty hot with my rings i was landing almost every single one and my dps was like 10k higher than everybody by the end of it and it's it's very very possible uh, I, I was trying to do this weird juky sidestepping thing with the rings and the, and the ring is weird. I, I think it's almost like autos in a sense to where they, they come out left, right a little bit strange. Like I think ring is like that. I find that people who are most successful with it, they're not trying to side juke a lot with it. They're just running straight because I kind of think it messes with the range of it a little bit as well. But at the end of the day, it all worked out well. We got a bunch of we still did some solid DPS. I mean, second only behind Freya, who Freya is a straight up hoss of Sorcerer X. Dang, the Rajan did some work on their team. Holy cow! But that was a really fun game, nonetheless. Oh man, it's fun just grabbing those people with ultimates and just watching their health get shredded with those crits come out, and then you slam them into the ground, and that's just awesome. But if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.